Hey guys, so today we have a lot of news to talk about starting off with a lot of new information regarding Samsung's upcoming Exynos flagship chipset, which in this video I will be calling the Exynos 2200. However, that does not mean that that will be the final name. From benchmarks we saw a few weeks back, the Exynos 2200 GPU is from 20 to up to two times faster than the GPU on the Apple A14 Bionic chipset, which as we know, is faster than the one on the Exynos 2100. So in Aztec High, the Exynos 2200 gets 58 FPS, while the A14 gets 30.5 FPS, while on Aztec Normal, the Exynos 2200 gets 138 FPS, while the Aztec Normal on the A14 gets 79.8 FPS. And remember that this is a comparison between a chipset in early development versus a chipset that is already out, which is the Apple A14 Bionic chipset. Once the Exynos 2100 gets released, we can expect more stability on the graphics and CPU of the Exynos 2200, and we can also expect between 10 to 15% higher numbers. Now, of course, not on every game you will see a two times better graphic performance compared to the Exynos 2100 or Apple A14, However, in most games, you will be seeing a massive difference between what is considered nowadays normal and the Exynos 2200 with the AMD GPU. This is not the only chipset that is expected to use an AMD graphics. The successor to the Exynos 1080, which I will be calling the Exynos 1180, is also expected to have the same GPU as the Exynos 2200 so you can expect an even bigger difference when compared to the Exynos 1080 and Snapdragon 870. Samsung is making some massive improvements with the new Exynos chipsets and alongside these two chipsets the Exynos 2200 and Exynos 1180. Today we also have a new model number for an upcoming Exynos chipset the model number being S5e 5515. So Samsung typically uses similar model numbers for their Exynos chipsets. For example, the Exynos 850 used the model number S5E 3830. Looking by the model number, we can expect this chipset to be in between the Exynos 850 and the Exynos 980. And in between those chipsets, there is a massive gap in performance. The Exynos 850 powers the Galaxy A21s and the new Galaxy M12, while the Exynos 980 powers the Galaxy A51 5G and the Galaxy A71 5G. So a new chipset in between those two would be very nice to see. And of course, would make the Exynos lineup a lot more complete. Alongside this chipset, we also expect another chipset, which will be an in-between the Exynos 980 and the Exynos 1080. A few months back, it was revealed that it will be called the Exynos 981. However, we have not heard a lot of things about it. So Samsung is working on various mid-range and flagship chipsets. We can expect all of the new chipsets to be featured in a new late 2021 to early 2022 lineup, which would consist, of course, of the low-end Exynos chipset, the Exynos 981, the Exynos 1180, and the Exynos 2200. Again, keep in mind, these are not official names. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for a lot more information on these upcoming Exynos chipsets. And of course, stay tuned to know a lot more about other devices like the launch of the Galaxy A52, which today we learned that will have optical image stabilization on its main camera. And of course, all upcoming devices.